My name is Gunnery Sergeant Holt. I'm your drill instructor for the next 14 weeks here at Aviation Officer Candidate School. Roll Cannon! This is Gunnery Sergeant Holt, United States Marine Corps, non-commissioned officer charge, Battalion 1! I'm gonna tell you what there, Candidate! You don't speak to me unless you're at the position of attention! That is, your heels are together, your feet are at a 45 degree angle, your thumbs are on your trouser seats, your fingers are curled, your shoulders are rolled back, and your eyeballs are straight to the front! Hey, wait a second, I... Shut up! I'll tell you what there, Kennedy. You don't speak unless you're spoken to. You don't do anything around here unless I tell you to do it. You understand me? Yes, sir. Now, what is your name? I am, uh, John Macklin, and I... No! No, Kennedy, I'll tell he you what He must be you mistaking know. me for someone else. Doesn't he know I'm an aviation officer candidate? Yeah, he knows it. Now, what is your name? Sir, this candidate's name is... No! No! You are not loud enough! No, you are not loud enough! You will speak in a loud and distinct voice! You got that? Yes, sir. I just told you, Kennedy. What difference does it make how I talk? Your heels will be together. Turn around. I said turn around. Back up. Back up. Now you keep your eyeballs on me and you pay attention, Kennedy, because I just spent 45 minutes explaining to you the proper way to do an office entry, and all we're doing is screwing it up. Now I'm going to show you one more time, and you better get it right. Now when you approach my office here, candidates, you will approach it so that your right shoulder remains four inches from this bulkhead at all times. You will march up here, and you will halt so that your toes are aligned with the entranceway to my hatch. Get your eyeballs down there on my feet. See that my toes are on line with the entranceway to this hatch. At this time, once your uniform is squared away and you have been sure that it is, you will take one step forward. You will halt and you will execute a right face. Get your eyeballs up here on me. You better engage your little brain housing group and start thinking. Now, now what kind of Mickey Mouse precision is this? What's all this nonsense got to do with flying? At this time, candidates... I tell you what, you can't probably think you're ready for inspection, but so far none of you have been. And neither are you, Macklin. Neither are you. Look at this thing. Look at it, Macklin. Look at it. Now, you probably think you did a good job, huh? But you didn't. Square Damn it, this is degrading. I came here to fly, not to detail the soles of my shoes. The top and the bottom. Sooner or later it's gonna come to you, Macklin. Sooner or later it's gonna come to you. We're talking about attention to detail here, Macklin. We're talking about the difference between life and death, Macklin. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. Now, candidates, at this time, I have taught you inspection arms. You are now standing at the position of port arms. And it is at this... What are you doing, Macklin? What are you doing, Macklin? Why are you eyeballing the area, Macklin? Why are you eyeballing the area? I guess you don't need to learn what I'm teaching you here. I'll tell you what, Macklin, you ain't got no concentration whatsoever. No. After a few weeks, a strange thing happens. Without being aware of it, you begin to get with the program. It usually starts small. Get him, Macklin! Get him! Get over here, candidates. Get over here quickly. Hurry up, hurry up. You don't have all day. Get your eyeballs down here. Sir. Now, candidates, when you're preparing for inspection, you're going to be folding your skivvies. And at all times, candidates, you will fold these skivvies exactly six inches by six inches. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I'm talking attention to detail here, candidates. They will be exact. Six inches? Oh, wow. This is ridiculous. So it's a little off. Who cares? And six inches horizontally. Is that understood? And you wonder why there's so much stress on teamwork. And teamwork. I sure, we're all individuals. We've been taught that from the cradle. But here, if one guy's in trouble, hell. We're all in trouble. That's a tough point to get across, but it's the backbone of aviation. Until we learn about teamwork. What about George Macklin? How about George Macklin? You will obey orders quickly and to the best of your ability, and you will not question those orders at any time. You will not question my orders at any time, candidates. Yes, I'm going to tell you what I have. They tell me I got to have a college education to fly. Then this Neanderthal tells me I'm not supposed to ask questions. What kind of crap is that? And your palm turned in the wrong direction. And you begin to wonder what happened to the caveman you met the first day. Well, I'll tell you what there, Macklin. Ten weeks ago this way... And then finally, unbelievably, you're ready for flight training. So, is it worth it? Well... Every man's got to decide for himself. Ensign Macklin, good morning, sir. Congratulations.